Hey everybody, welcome to another video recap. This episode is about the 2017 CSCS Time Attack Championship, uh, round two, this time at Toronto Motorsports Park in Cayuga. I'm just quickly loading up the car. This time I'm gonna shoot the video in chronological order. So I'm just gonna shoot it as I go. Um, I don't have a lot of time. There's not a lot of battery on my phone, so I'm just gonna get to work. There's the car behind me. I don't think I have a lot to do, but let's get started. So you may remember from my last video that some of the hardware from the splitter needed replacing, so that's already been replaced. That cost about $2 and took about one minute. So it's already ready to go. So the splitter is fixed. The next thing I have to do is check the oil. And on a DE with a big intake, you can guess how difficult that is. Yep, there it is. Yep, virtually impossible, but I'm gonna try anyways. So I just pulled the dipstick and it actually looks perfect. I know that the three quart AccuSump is full and this is filled right up to the H. So it's actually got about eight liters of oil on board. And I know that since I only did about five laps last time that the oil is gonna be fresh. I usually change it every track day, but because I barely ran last time, there's no point, so. Just to make less work when I get to the track, I'll throw the splitter on right now. It makes loading the car a lot more difficult, but I prefer to get to the track and just unload and be ready to go. Okay, so it's finally time to load the car. I had a gear oil spill in the trailer it leaked out of the transmission that had tipped over when I set the trailer for uh, its annual inspection. So that took about an hour and a half to clean up. So it was supposed to be really quick, it's taking a long time, but the splitter is finally back on the Z and I'm gonna put it in the trailer now. Okay, I went to start the car and the battery is dead. So I'm gonna leave on the charger for a while while I pack the rest of the stuff. Okay, so I'm just putting extra air in all the tires, taking them up to about 26 pounds. It's easier to fill them here than at the track. It's five hours later. I'm finally done packing. I just have to put the tires in the pickup bed. Um, packing took forever. I ran into a bunch of problems. First, gear oil spilled all over the trailer. Second, uh, I went to start my car and the battery was dead, so I had to charge it. Third, I went to pump fuel and my uh, transfer pump wasn't working. Um, I don't even know what else, but it took five hours. It was only supposed to take, you know, one or two. I guess I'll charge the battery overnight in the Z. Just taking a look around. Yeah, I think I pretty much got everything. Let's see, I've got some race ramps to load the Z. It's tied down. Three cans of fuel, hopefully I only need to use one. Jack stands, a battery charger, one tool kit, second tool kit with a little headlight to wear if I need one. My bike to ride around the pits in because the pit area is big, extra oil, spare tire for the trailer, torque wrench, impact gun, brake fluid, air pig, extra brake pads. Who knows, lots of stuff. So I just have to get cleaned up and then uh... I always charge my cameras and my laptop. I always bring my laptop with me in case I want to look at data at the track. And yeah, that's about it for tonight. I'm going to leave really early tomorrow morning. Hey, it's five in the morning. I'm just leaving my house. Um, it's supposed to rain for a little bit today, so I just threw a canopy in the truck that I had in the garage just in case. It's supposed to be a bit cooler today and it's supposed to rain in the middle. That might be okay. The track still might end up pretty fast because the air temperature is going to be a little bit lower. Anyways, um, I was pretty tired. I almost drove away with the car hooked up to the battery charger still. But everything's good. I'm on the road. It takes about an hour and 45 to get there. So I just got to Toronto Motorsports Park. Actually, it's about 8 o'clock. I just got in the gate. I got here surprisingly early. I was here at about uh, 7 a.m. It's good to get here early because if you're too late, the line is really hard to get through because a lot of people show up. Uh, so now I've got to get the car unloaded. I checked the weather. It should rain in the middle of the day. At least there's a 50% chance of it. So I'd like to get the car ready. I'd like to get it on the track and at least set a qualifying time. And then I can just hang out and chill out and, and see what other cars are here. And um, if it rains, so what? As long as it's dry in the time attack session, because I only have slicks, um, that would be good. Anyways, going to start getting my stuff ready. It's gonna be a little bit of a process, so I'll pick up the phone again later on. Okay, so I'm at the track pretty much set up already. There we go, 
Feels so bad. A guy just put a brand new Hellcat into the wall. Terrible. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be great because I'm gonna get more and more disheveled as the day goes on. So uh, practice session one just happened. Um, I only did I think one time lap. I ran a 17:55, which is uh, about a second off my personal best, and the track was really bad really slippery it's really bad this morning um, my main competition is Brian Wong in the advanced powerhouse Dodge Viper uh, ACR and he's uh, two tenths behind me right now This group P thing is really working out. There's lots of open track. All the cars on the track are pretty fast. Um, there's like three or four more uh, pro group practice sessions, but I'm not going to need to use all of them. So I'm just kind of strategizing which ones will I go out, which ones will I stay in for. Um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. So the car has been really, really bad so far. I think I'm running about a 17.5. Impossibly loose in some sections and really understeering in others. So I think the old Hoosier A7s are just finished. I've only done a couple of laps, but there's really uh, a big storm rolling in, so everything's just kind of shutting down for a bit. I'm gonna try and get the uh, really DS on. Really the car's a lot better. It started raining and uh, I started like hitting the e brake and it was a little bit of a brake to the e back. Yup. Got a. It's not going that great today. Once again, I'm going to have to just go forward in the finals. Not really a lot of time to find the setup, and I'm struggling to find the grip out there. I'm not sure how this will go, but I'm in the final heat again. We'll just have to see how it goes.
So CSCS round two is in the books. Uh, I think I finished second place by a little over a tenth of a second to Brian Wong in the Dodge Viper ACR. Um, grip out there, just couldn't find any. It was really bad. Uh, I, f I think I ran the slowest time I've run since about 2014. Um, I ran a 117.0, which, yeah, I haven't run that since sometime in early 2014. The track was just so bad. I felt a little bit better when I saw that all the rear-wheel drive cars had a lot of trouble. Um, the uh, Viper ACR ran a 1691. Uh, I ran a 1705 or something like that. And uh, the Radical SR3 ran like a 17.2. And, uh, you know, these are all from memory. I may be messing them up. There's a supercharged uh, M3 with, I think, over 500 wheel horsepower, and he ran a 17.4. So it was... Uh, not everyone's best day in rear wheel drive. The track was just too greasy and too messed up. But anyways, overall fun. Uh, second place trophy, not bad. Still in the lead in the championship. Uh, so that's it, I'm gonna drive home, go over the data, think about everything, and I'll be posting a video later.